Perfect. Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. So glad to see you and welcome to today's episode, boatless episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. Okay, it's the second week of April, folks. We got a beautiful day upon us. Uh, no cameraman today, it's just me and Antonio, or Antonio and I. And Antonio is on the camera right now. We're gonna be sharing duties today. But today, folks, what we're doing is we're looking for that early season channel cap bite. And I get asked a lot, you know, when when can I first start fishing for channel cat? See if I can get myself sit down here. And the answer is usually two to four weeks after ice out. I say two to four weeks because it depends on it depends on the uh, the weather. The water needs to warm up. You need to get some of that warm April rain or even late March rain coming in and warming up the back waters and getting those catfish to move in from their deep holes and start to move into the shallower water into the back bays. So this year it's been a bit colder. Uh, so the water is still cold right now, but we're hoping second week of April, we're hoping that the bite's gonna start. So Antonio's got a line in already. I'm using the pre-tied T-turn bait rig, folks. It's already pre-tied, I just uh, tie it on. I snap on a sinker uh, and the rig itself, um, it's, uh, it's got a T-turn on there, a large size T-turn, goes down to a sinker and then of course uh, off to a nice five odd octopus style hook which accommodates your cut bait real real nice and that's what we're using today folks cut bait we also brought some liver uh but we're gonna open up with cut bait and uh see if we can entice a bite or two in the meanwhile we're gonna sit here relax the birds are chirping it's a beautiful day it's warm we're just gonna enjoy the day and if we can get a bite pure bonus wow so this fish holy this fish gave me a little tiny tap bite and waited and then it gave me a nice bite caught me off guard stopped and then it came back just almost pulled my rod in so it tells you you gotta wait sometimes right but it feels really good <laughs> the bullish angler strikes first did you see the run he took that was unbelievable normally because this water is so cold, they don't take those big runs. It feels really good. Feels like a good one? It does, actually. Oh, that's a good sign. That means the bite could be on today. It's been six months since I caught a channel cat. <laughs> <laughs> now, how long? We've we been here for... Maybe 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Close, maybe half... Uh, I'm going to say half hour. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Half hour which gave the bait enough time to scent up the area and attract the catfish. So for bait, I had sucker belly that we had in the freezer. Nice. And it, uh, it worked. Wow. It's got shoulders. <laughs> you got a good one. Now, what pound test line you running? So I've got 20 pound braid. Oh, nice. To a to a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, or I think whatever's on the rig, actually. Okay. The T turn. Yeah, there's a it it's fluorocarbon line. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there it is. There. Ooh, it's a good one. Oh yeah. I just saw a swirl. And I got an eight foot rod today. Yeah, you got one of the nice long rod. Wow, this is uh Oh, that's a nice fish. It's not a day you want to forget your net, but that day is today. <laughs> <laughs> and whose fault was that? I don't know. <laughs> the excitement fault. All right, well, this is going to be something. Land by hole. Holy, oh, that's, that's a, a big nice fish. channel cat. All right. That is a nice channel. Is it ever? Wow, that's got some shoulders. Oh boy, that's a good fish. Antonio. Holy cow. That's a good fish. Wow. Holy spiel and drag. That's a good fish. I'd say that's a great start. Oh, is it ever? It's, this is a huge fish. Now, I'd normally land oh. them for you, but I'm on the camera. Sorry about the camera work, guys. I don't normally do this. All right, well, let's see. That's, uh, that's a monster. 
That's a big that is a, That is a monster. Holy cow. You think 20 pounds? Oh, easy. Oh, easy. That's a good fish. Did we bring a scale? Uh, maybe. I'll have to check. Oh, I don't know about weighing them. We don't have them yet, so. Oh, he went back out. This is the drawback of a long rod. A long rod and no net. No net, long rod. He's just hooked under the lip. Ooh. Nice. Oh my goodness. Nice. That's a good that fish. is <laughs> That's a good fish. Holy cow. <laughs> that is a good, whoops. I thought my rod was going in the water. Oh that is cow. a good fish. He's clamping on my hand. Wow. Nice start to the day. Boatless angler wow. right there, folks. Boatless angler with the boatless fish. That oh. is a big fish. Beauty. Let me see if I got a, a weigh scale, okay? Sure. Okay, folks, we're in luck. We don't have a net, but we have a weigh scale. How and what work? is your guess, folks, before Antonio tells us? What is your guess? I'm going to say he's about, I'm going to say 18 pounds. It's my guess. Okay. So what do I do? Just yeah, lift it up. What's it say? It's blank. Blank? Oh, hang on. I can turn the power on. <laughs> That's better. All right. The verdict is? It is 20.8 ounces. Almost 21. Okay. Nice fish. You want a photo? I do, yeah. Okay. I'll be right back, folks. Nice. All right. Let her go. Nice little photo op. Great memory. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. Good release. You like that, didn't you? Oh, this is awesome. Okay, folks, so I just had a nice little bite and then he stopped. So it's a game of patience. I don't want to touch my rod. My bait's still there. These fish are lethargic. They're not really aggressively feeding. I'm just going to sit and be patient and see if he'll come back now and give me another bite. Oh, there we go, folks. Oh, what a hook set. <laughs> there we go. The patience game paid off. That was that same bite, folks. And I got to tell you, it was about, I'm going to say 10 minutes since we turned the camera off that I waited for that bite. Okay, it feels like a good fish, but nowhere near as big as Antonio's, but it still feels like a decent, decent channel cat. They're all good this time of year, folks. Now my rig, Antonio, is not, not like yours. I've got a six foot rod that I'm running today, medium action, but I also have 20 pound braid. And uh, the T-turn bait rig actually has 25 pound fluorocarbon line on it, so it's, it's a little bit stronger. But that's the thing, folks, this time of year, you gotta be patient because like I say, these fish are, I mean, even the fight that we're getting right now, the water was five degrees warmer these catfish would be much much stronger yeah this one feels maybe maybe five pounder I don't know he's small it's a smaller fish but a nice fish oh yeah actually he's not bad he, he, he's, no, he's no 20 but he's, he's, he's not bad okay now I got the same problem that you have Antonio get this fish landed. At least I've got a smaller rod that I can land this fish with. If I can grab his tail. There we go. There we go, folks. Nice fish. Yeah, nowhere near as big as yours, Antonio, but isn't that a beautiful fish there? That's just a beauty. Nice colors on him. I love it. He's got some black dots. See the black dots on him? Just beautiful. Okay, let me get this guy off. Okay, just for the heck of it, he is six and a half pounds. Okay, get that out. Okay, so nowhere, nowhere near as big as that last one, but still a six and a half pound channel. That's still a lot of fun and a nice fish. Okay, we'll get him right back in again. See you later, Mr. Channel Cat. Thanks for the slime. Oh, he just... He just picked it up. This one feels a little nicer. Now that bite Antonio had there, 
his stopped biting. And it's been about 10, I wonder if it's your fish, Antonio, that came over to, <laughs> to, to my okay. bait. <laughs> oh, this, wow. Yeah, this one feels like a better fish than that last one. He feels a little bit heavier. Oh, yeah. Now, well, the other thing we did to, too, folks, after that last fish, we freshened up on the bait. So you always want to keep your bait, you know, I, I'm going to say a half hour at the most in the water because you get fresh bait, you're gonna release fresh scent, and you're gonna attract those fish. This one feels like, oh, this one feels like a nicer fish. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. It feels bigger than the last one. We shall see. Oh boy, this is phenomenal. Catfishing, folks. Springtime catfish, I love it. And the thing is, you know, the beauty, yesterday we were out fishing for steelhead. Today we're out fishing for, for channel cat. Oh, springtime, everything comes alive, folks, in the spring, and the fishing just, it's unbelievable. So, this one feels bigger. How much bigger? I don't know. But he definitely feels bigger. And they're strong, and like I say, if this water was warmer, oh, there's a nice tail. There's a nice tail. Oh, yeah, he's got a big head. This one's definitely over 10 pounds, that's for sure. Definitely over 10. Maybe 15. Oh, oh boy. Nice Maybe 20. Fish. Oh, nice that's a fish. big fish. Oh, look at the head of this fish. Look at the head on this channel cap, folks. Oh, that is a big channel. Oh, whip lock. Don't know what to do. Tail lock, whip lock. Okay, no, he's not 20, but he's all of 15 for sure. 15, 17, 18. I don't know. He's up there. That's a nice fish, folks. Look at this. Okay, I definitely need a photo of this fish as well for Instagram and Facebook. And then we're going to get a weight on this one. So, like we did with the last one, folks, what do you think is the weight on this fish right here? Take your best guess. It always looks smaller on camera than you might guess, but we'll see. I got a nice photo op, and that is 12.9, 13 pounds, folks. 13. Okay. Wow, 13 pounds. I thought he was bigger. Look at the head on this fish, folks. Look at that fish. <laughs> it's a nice big, big mouth, big whiskers. Oh, nice fish, nice fish. All right, let's get this guy right back in the water again. Wow, what a big head. Okay, Mr. Channel, see you later. He's, he's taking it, he's taking it. Nail him, Antonio. Oh! oh! Major league hook set. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a good hook set. So you know what's happening wow. now. These fish are starting to come around. We're starting to scent the area and the bites are coming a bit quicker. This is a, this is a big fish, I think. Feels heavy? Yeah, I would say well, a, another 20 pounder. Come on. And I would say you got a bite too. You're kidding? Oh boy, I'm not goes kidding. My rod. Oh. oh. <laughs> I tried to set the hook. No. You left it. I could have tried. Okay, we're back. I missed that hook set. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, this is a big fish. It's a good fish. Yep. Wow. <laughs> that long rod of yours is bent over. I love to see the big boils they leave with their big tails. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, wow. He's doing rolls here. Is he rolling? Let's see if we can... Like a crocodile. <laughs> Wow. 
You got another good fish. Oh my. He's thick. It's a good fish. Okay. That's no, a big time one. to land. Oh, he oh. broke the line. Oh, 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 oh. That's catch and release. You got him? There yeah. he is, there he is. This is. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's Antonio the boat was angler at his best right there. Bro. Oh, man. That was hilarious. Oh, I'm so It was worth it. I got my hook back, got the fish back. Oh, and what's the weight? Oh. Let's get a weight on that one. He's definitely 20. It's got to be. Oh, my. He is. He's over. 23. He? That's what I figured. 23. And nine ounces. Wow. Almost 24. 23 and a half. 23 and a half. Good fish. Oh, look at that. That's a nice chunk. See, the reason why it broke is I was holding the line. And he just did a head shake and it was just too heavy. <laughs> I love that ending job. Oh. That was great. <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun, folks. We're just having a riot out here, and the day's just beginning. I think I want a photo. You want a photo? Sure, you got it. There's your photo op. Thank you. Oh, what a fish. Beauty. That's a beauty. That's a nice channel. <laughs> Holy. That's a fish. <laughs> oh, Soaked. The human landing net. Antonio. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, there we go. That's nice. a good bite. Oh, the bites are definitely coming faster. They're definitely coming faster now with us scenting up this area. Oh, feels like another good fish. Oh boy. I don't think it's going to be a 20 pounder though, but it's a good fish. Oh. Oh boy. The springtime catfish and all, I just love it. And I line was out there. I cast it out there pretty good. That's the one thing with the waders. I actually was able to wade out a little bit in the water. Oh, big head. <laughs> big head, big swirl. Nice fish. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good fish. Oh. oh, yeah. It's not a 20 pounder, though. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. That's, that's a good. Well, this one's this one's yellow, yellowish in color. Yellowish in color, folks. Uh, oh, that's a good fish. Okay. Uh, I'll use my other hand. I'll put the rod down. We'll get this guy off and take a good look at him. And we'll get a weight on him too. Yes, we will. That's a good fish, folks, right there. <laughs> oh, that's a nice look at the colors. This one's this one's yellow. Check that fish out, folks. That's a nice one. Antonio, let's see if he's up there in your status. He's up there, he's 16 not he's 16 pounds not quite 20 but 16 pounds wow 16 point hang on 16 point yeah just over 16. oh okay let's get him off there that's a nice chunky fish 16 pounder folks right there Antonio, yours were over 20 beauties, but look how thick that fish is. Oh boy. Okay, let's get him back in. Let's get this catfish back. Okay, see you later. Oh my, folks. Springtime catfishing, what can I tell you? Find yourself a shoreline, enjoy the beautiful nature, listen to the birds, catch some fish, have yourself a good time. Wherever you're tuning in from today, folks, I want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Things. Things are just picking up here, and we got the whole day ahead of us. I hope you have yourself a great day. Until next time, good luck and good fishing. Amazing fishing.